In today's video, I want to show you how to calculate your sac rate or surface air consumption. And of course, we're just going to use a simple formula where it's your gas used divided by the time you dove divided by your pressure and that'll give us our sac rate. So, you know, it would be a lot more precise of a test if I went out and did like three controlled dives, you know, sitting there at exactly 10 meters for exactly 10 minutes maybe one dive doing a strenuous dive like i'm fighting current and then the next dive uh like reels in just hovering for exactly 10 minutes not using any air at all and then a, a normal one but i didn't do that for this video i'll do that and get my exact number in a separate video show you how i did it but in this one i just want to show you real quick how to calculate your sac rate so i'm just going to go use my dive computer it tells me all the information i need from my last dive or i can take my last 10 dives and average them together whatever okay so my dive computer the first number i need is the gas used on my last dive i went from 200 bar down to 60 bar which means i used 140 bar on that dive now when we calculate our sac rate, we are looking for the liters of air or the liters of gas, I should say, used. We're not looking for how many bars we use. We're looking for liters per minute. So I need to convert this into liters. Now I'm going to times it by 11 because I used an 11 liter tank. All right. And now all I do, I take my calculator. I do 140 times... 11 and that comes out to 1540 now i already did the calculations real quick and wrote them down so that i don't have to waste your guys' time so i know but now we have the gas used 100 uh, 1540 liters okay now i need my time i look at my dive computer for the same dive and it says my dive was 61 minutes, okay? Now we have our time. Now I need my pressure. Let me see. On the last dive, my average dive, luckily my dive computer does this, was 13 meters. Now I'm not looking for meters in depth, I'm looking for my pressure. So what I gotta do is divide 13 by 10 because, well, you guys know, uh, there's an atmosphere for every 10 meters deep we go. If you're doing imperial system, just make that 10 a 33. All right, so it comes out to 1.3 atmospheres. A T M. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add one because we also have one atmosphere of pressure here on the surface. Now it comes out to 2.3. 3 ATM. So now we have our pressure. All it is now is a simple calculation. All right. I got 1540 divided by 61 divided by 2.3 and that will come out to 10.9 97 liters per minute okay so that is my sac rate for the last dive I did it's a simple calculation I have no idea if that was a strenuous dive an easy dive my average was 13 meters so not too deep but this is the number I did on the last dive all right so there you go why is this important well a lot of guys uh, they want to do dive planning uh, for example, my friend is teaching an advanced rec, you know, uh, course with advanced trimix and he requires a sac rate of 12, I believe it is. Um, he has a lot of requirements. So uh, another reason though is we have a lot of dive master students that are really interested in improving their air consumption. And so we get them at the beginning of their training, at the beginning of their dive master course to figure out their sac rate. You know, maybe it's like 30 or 20 or something. And they write it down in their log books. And then at the end of the, uh, the end of the training, you know, a month, however long it took, 
we calculate it again and see if they improved. Maybe they went from a 20 to a 15, 20 to 18, whatever. It's a, it's a good way, it's a good thing, a tangible number to put on your air consumption rate. All right, so as usual, if you guys wanna come training with me here in the Philippines, we have a SDI TDI five-star training facility. Um, just hit us up. The email and contact information will be in the comments below or in the description below, I should say. And if you are a nerd and watch to the very end of this video, I love it. Let me know you watch to the very end by putting a, a calculator in the comments below. All right. Lots more videos like this coming out soon. I'll see you later.